Yo, what's up guys, it's Exynos here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little tutorial on batch rendering. So what you're seeing on screen right now is the biggest project I have open for my friend Ben, um, also known as Smoothie on YouTube. His Minecraft Let's Play, his computer's not very good, so I've been rendering them out for him. Just because I can, and it's faster, and it's not that much more of a hassle for me, so whatever. Um, especially because I batch render them, so it's very simple. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So what you're going to want to do is put your let's play or whatever into Vegas, split it up like you would normally into each section. So for example, I have each line right here is different episodes for the let's play. And so what you're going to want to do after that is just click up here and drag until the loop tool selects one section or one episode. And then you're going to want to hit R which is turning it into a region, then you're going to want to name the region. This really doesn't matter. I'm going to go with the same naming scheme that Vegas uses, so that would put region 1 as 0, so I'll just call it ep, I guess, episode 0. Name the next region, and the next. I don't know why I named it 3, whatever. It really does not as you'll see because it gives it its own naming thing I, I mean I can go for all it cares in fact they will because it's faster and let's go with number 8 Ten, eleven, and the end. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have your render settings, however you prefer to have them rendered out, your format and everything, saved as a preset. Now you should do this already as it saves you a lot of time every time you go to render, but Let's go make sure you guys know how to do that. So you're going to want to go render as. You're going to want to select whatever media format you use. So I use WMV, um, Windows Media Video 11. And this is my template. So normally what you do is hit Customize Template. Name it something up here. Hit Save. Change whatever settings you need to. Hit Save again. And instead of hitting Render up here, you're going to want to hit Cancel. Then you're going to want to click somewhere. Make sure nothing is selected. Go to Tools. Scripting batch render you know I'll find your template so mine's under that and it's that one and then you want to hit render regions so you move each one of these into a region and this is just going to render each of those regions out one after another so you'll be able to leave this rendering overnight render out five ten a hundred episodes depending on how long you leave it running and how good your computer is obviously and then you're just going to want to go to browse I'm going to put mine on the desktop And I think I already have a folder for this. I'm going to call it the MCLP. Hit save. Okay, and then what you're going to want to look at right here is if it worked. Um, th normally the naming scheme is not like that. I don't think it... Hmm... I don't know. Normally the naming scheme is different. Let me try something. Maybe I'm just crazy. That's a very strong possibility. Um. In fact, I'll even call it untitled. No, I'll call it F. Save. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, do what I did during the second time I hit batch render, because obviously I messed up on the first one, I don't want to re-record the entire video. Um, but make sure render regions is selected, make sure your template's selected, and you'll see... Um, the Right here, you'll see the, where I have the letter F, it's just the name of the file. Then you'll see the format, the template, and 0 would be the first region, 1 would be the second, and then the file format again. 
Um, it's very simple to batch render. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other Vegas tutorials on rendering, editing. Um, I'm not a super insane editor, so if you have like crazy questions on how to do a bunch of things, uh, ask someone else. But if it's um, pretty much, I do a lot of commentaries in Let's Play, so if it's something pertaining to that, I'd be able to help you out a lot better. Um, I do know how to do some interesting effects for editing, so I'll make tutorials on that. But that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.